Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are we all doing? So this morning it is 6.30am, probably 6.40 now and I am currently getting ready because I am going out to a conference for work which I am super excited about. I haven't vlogged in a while and I'll probably explain that a little bit more maybe in a different video or on my Instagram or something but I really felt like vlogging today because a lot of things are going on with work, a lot of things are going on with life. I feel sufficiently refreshed and I kind of wanted to document this busy, busy week because there's a lot going on, both work and social. I am currently trying to get ready because I need to be at this conference nice and bright and early. If you can't already tell, I am quite a morning person anyway, so it's fine. Like, I'm quite chipper and obviously now we're coming into spring. Um, it's getting lighter in the mornings and lighter in the evenings, which means I'm actually waking up a lot earlier So I naturally woke up I think at 20 past 6 today and I felt great. So that's a good sign I also joined a running group, which is super exciting and I've been really loving which I'll probably talk to you a bit more about later in this vlog and then in less than two weeks, I'm running my first ever half marathon, which again, I'll go into detail later I feel like we've got a lot of catching up to do so I don't want to try and cram it all into the intro of this video especially when i'm trying to get ready and be on time for my conference but i guess i'll explain a little bit more about the detail of the conference and my day and my week and my life as we go on <laughs> that's me all ready and on time for once and all i can think is oh my goodness it's literally light outside it's what what time is it seven seven ten and that's how bright it is like it just feels like it happened overnight. Normally, it gets gradually lighter in the UK as we come into spring. But for some reason, it just feels very sudden that it, all of a sudden it's light in the mornings and light in the evenings. And I have really noticed a difference in my mood. I am so much brighter, more energetic, more happy. I'm waking up earlier. Like, you don't realise how much the darkness affects your mood. But I'm feeling super great. Like, as I said, I don't know where it came from. Like, one evening I was walking to the gym after work at five o'clock and it was pitch black. And then the next day it felt like I was walking there at five and it was light. And I was like, how am I walking to the gym in the light? I went for a walk after work yesterday in the park, which doesn't have like street lamps. And I thought, hang on, I can actually walk in this park now. It's yeah, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, I need to brush my teeth grab some food for the train and then head off to my product conference which is in central London. I'm super excited for it. It's not often that I get to go to events like this for my job so it's really exciting that I've managed to get tickets to it. A couple of the other graduates are going, a couple of other people in my team and in other teams I've worked in so it'll be a really nice opportunity to network and socialise and see those friendly faces again and maybe meet some new people and learn some really cool interesting things about my job in technology. everybody i had such an amazing time at the technology product conference i will tell you all about it when i get in but at the minute i'm dashing out to get to the gym unfortunately i cancelled my running group session tonight i just figured it's very very close to my half marathon now i don't want to get injured i've been feeling a little bit of pain by my knee from my from my recurrent uh, it band injury if anyone knows what that is and i just don't want to risk it flaring up because the only solution for that is like rest and lots of physio and if I get that injury two weeks or less than two weeks now before my half marathon then that just rules me out like I won't be able to run it so it's not worth pushing myself I ran on Sunday yesterday was Monday today is Tuesday I don't think that's a big enough gap to leave for rest so instead I'm going to go do weights at the gym instead and give my poor legs a little bit of a rest and yeah I'll let you know everything about the product conference when I get in but at the minute I just want to get there while it's still light try and get an hour and a half two hours in and then come back and meal prep do my dinner um get ready to be in the office tomorrow because it's just a super busy week and it feels like i'm out and about all week long for my job so yeah just in a bit of a rush at the minute but i can't wait to tell you all because i had the best time ever mm -hmm. 
look at this tasty bowl of pasta that I'm about to tuck into. Thank goodness that I meal prep. Honestly, it makes my life so much easier when I come home late from the gym or conferences or my running group and I can just quickly whack this in the microwave or the oven and I'm good to go. I have finally finished eating and cooking and washing up and meal prepping and getting ready to be in the office tomorrow so I can actually sit down and talk to you about my product conference today. That's technology product. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, we refer to things like applications and uh, APIs in another technical term, go Google it. <laughs> this isn't an educational video, but we refer to technology apps, things like that as tech products. So add a tech product conference today if I can put my teeth in and um, it was basically just a bunch of product managers across London and probably wider UK I bet a lot of people travel for it today coming together in one room to share their insight and expertise on how to be a good product manager and it was such a good day really great for networking learning lots of new things I'm obviously still a graduate early in my career so I'm still like a sponge just like eager to soak up lots of information it felt like being back at university again it was hosted at the Barbican so it was really great atmosphere great hall to do it in and it felt like yeah, we were sitting at lectures taking notes and things but I found it really really interesting and I've come away feeling quite uh, re-energized and excited and I have lots of new ideas to bring back into work tomorrow and, and bring to my job and um, ways that I can improve the way I work as a product manager so feeling really excited if any of you are interested some of the talks they were giving were on things like uh, harnessing or leveraging the power of generative AI to sort of improve our efficiency and decision making and how we can give the right prompts I guess and leveraging it as a tool to assist us, not necessarily seeing it as something that's taking over our roles and our jobs, something that's making our lives easier and decision making and yeah, like day to day tasks and things. Um, and then there was a really good talk on like bringing your stakeholders along on the journey, making sure everyone's on the same page, navigating tensions in the workplace, storytelling and narrative and how important that is in our role. There was just so many different talks. I can't even remember all of the different information. It was just such an information dump. Really great talk at the end about owning your own career and how important it is to take lateral moves as well. So not just trying to take a step up, but moving sideways in order to gain a different viewpoint, different skills, different experiences, which can then help you. Ooh, doorbell. I don't think that's for us. Anyway. Yes, what was I saying? Taking a sideways move to gain different skills and expertise, you can eventually take that step up or bring sort of new knowledge and insight into your current role. If you were ever to move back like between business and technology, which we kind of, I'm, I shouldn't really be referring to as two separate things, we're meant to be removing the silos and actually working more cohesively and together. But yeah, that was, that was really interesting as well, especially as someone who started their career in business and has transitioned into tech. And I feel that that means I can bring a new perspective into this world. So that one really resonated with me. There were lots of freebies, lots of stalls, people to chat to. It was just super interesting. Nice to network with people outside of my company, but also get closer to the people inside my company who I don't necessarily work with on a day-to-day -day basis, but actually finding out what they're doing, who they are, what they're about, what kind of exciting projects they're working on. So all in all, a really, really good day. And like I've said, I've come away feeling re-energized. Like I know with things like this, obviously, it's very ideal world and here are best practices and here is the, the way you should be doing things and obviously that's not always the case in reality because you've got business pressure and timelines and budgets and stakeholders that are pulling you in different directions so obviously we're speaking ideal world and not all of it's applicable to our day jobs but coming away with a couple of nuggets of information of that's what I want to strive to be like in my job was was really good and yeah broke up broke up the routine and the monotony I guess of daily life so I'm feeling really good. I've rambled on for four minutes about that now. I hope you're as interested as I am because I could talk about my job all day long. I'm clearly very passionate about it, but I don't know if that went over a lot of people's heads. Anyway, <laughs> I am gonna go shower now because I'm in the office tomorrow. It's fast approaching 9 p.m. I wanna get this makeup off. I wanna wash my hair and I want an early night so I can be ready to go tomorrow in the office because I've got a very, very back-to-back -back day. Good morning, it's Friday and I'm in such good spirits. I think I'm just glad that I made it to the end of the week. It has been the most hectic week in my life ever. It's just felt super busy, like back to back calls at work. I've been out and about loads. So obviously I usually work from home on a Monday or a Friday. 
and then usually alternate two days in office tuesday wednesday thursday but this week i've been out and about a lot obviously i had my conference on tuesday i was then in the office on wednesday um, because i had a couple of in-person meetings and then on thursday we did a bit of a data center visit because i work in technology and the grads decided it would be good just to get out and see a site so we've done things like distribution centers data centers um supplier visits like i've, I've done quite a lot of trips school trips with my job but um yeah so I was out and about on the road quite a bit this week really enjoyed the conference on Tuesday left me feeling very re-energized as I said but then coming in on Wednesday it was like an avalanche of work I had to pick back up with so yeah I guess I was gonna say punished for my day out but no like that's not how I see it but yeah it just meant I had a lot to come back to and I still don't feel like I'm fully on top of everything and then spending Thursday afternoon out on another trip yeah it's just it's a bit hectic so I'm glad we've made it to Friday that said I do have a lot to get through but because I'm waking up early it means I can sort of have a very slow morning look after myself do the things I want to do um, I think I'm gonna make myself some banana oat pancakes because I have an overripe banana left in the fridge that I want to use up and I just figured it's been a busy week treat yourself and I know I'll enjoy it and taking the time and effort to put into a nice breakfast will put a smile on my face and yeah, as I said, ease myself into the day. So I think I'm gonna do that now. It's also looking dry today, so feeling good about that because yesterday I got absolutely drenched walking home from work. It was chucking it down. So I'm hoping that means it's gonna get out into a nice, lovely, sunny day today. Just look at these delicious banana oat pancakes that I've made to brighten up my Friday morning. I made them just literally using oats, oat milk, and um, some overripe bananas I didn't want to go to waste. But then, Split some blueberries in the microwave to make some kind of blueberry compote. There's a little bit of Greek yogurt and some honey on there for sweetness as well. I'm so excited to dig into these. I've got a really busy Friday, so this is a nice way to kick off the morning. As expected, it's looking slightly sunny. I bet it's freezing, but I can hear the birds chirping. It looks dry and still. You can see the sun on my building, so that's a good sign. That's good enough for me. Dry is better than anything. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's Saturday and I'm in such a good mood today. The sun was shining when I woke up. I was up super early so I felt productive, like I had a really nice long slow morning and then I ran out on a 5k. I normally do a 10k on a Saturday or on a Sunday but it is my half marathon next weekend so I'm trying to pace myself, pardon the pun, but um, pull back a little bit because I'm terrified of getting injured. So I'm slowing down, making sure I'm not overdoing it. I just want to make it to the finish line next week so fingers crossed all will be fine. But still went out for a 5k, ran around the local park. It was very chilly and crisp but the sun was out so it felt really good. Got back, and then I popped out to do my grocery shopping. Today I made sure I had absolutely no plans because I just wanted a nice chill weekend for my last one before my half marathon. And I'm just, I'm just loving it. I'm really enjoying it. I think the weather, the light in the morning and in the evening has just, it's, it's really raised my spirits. And yeah, I think because I've got this spare day where I'm not seeing anyone for the first time in ages, I'm just gonna take it nice and chill. And because I've got this extra time, I think I might do a little bit of baking. Now I'm not a natural baker. I do not profess to be a baker. I love cooking. I really enjoy cooking. I don't even know if I'm a good cook, but I know I like my food. But I'm not a natural baker. It doesn't come intuitively to me. Cooking is not an exact science, so I kind of love that I can chuck whatever I want in. Baking, you measure something wrong, your cake hasn't risen, or, you know, you've got, you've got, I don't know, chewy cookies or something, or a cakey brownie when you wanted a fudgy one. Like, mm, not for me. But I have some cheese left over in the fridge and I'm craving some cheese scones. Fun fact, my dad is actually doing a culinary course at college, it's a little hobby on the side thing, and he made some really good looking cheese scones and sultana scones last week, and my parents sent me a picture and made me super, super jealous. So I've been thinking about them ever since, and since I've got a little bit of this block of cheese left, I thought, I'm gonna make some, uh, make some cheese scones, treat myself, got all this free time, why not? The house is empty and quiet. So I'm gonna go bake and see how that turns out. Okay, so let me tell you this, the scones might not have been the most aesthetically pleasing scones I've ever made in the world or anyone's ever seen, but you know what? They tasted great. I think I had a couple of issues, so for a start I didn't have any eggs in so I couldn't do an egg wash, had to improvise and do a weird concoction of soy milk, 
and soy sauce and a little bit of honey to try and get them to brown on the top and then didn't have like an egg wash brush to do it evenly so there are just random patches of like darker golden colour on the top. We move, they're still edible. I do think my butter was a little bit warm putting them in the oven and my oven doesn't get to very high temperatures, it's a really rubbish oven, really old fashioned, so they didn't really rise that well. I mean they, they rose a little bit but they did look a bit like rocks, they were a little bit flat, but edible cooked all the way through absolutely delicious so that was a nice little lunch treat for me and I'm feeling fairly pleased with myself I don't care what they look like it's about what they taste like and maybe next time I will maybe chuck some baking soda in instead and I mean my oven was literally on max temperature so I couldn't even try turning it up a bit more next time but maybe a bit more baking soda might help to get them to rise because this time I just used self-raising flour but I think as a first attempt I'm fairly pleased with that it was a good little lunch treat myself lunch for this very chill day off oh would you look at that sunshine just come out as i've got my camera out you can't even see me because it's so bright i have to like spin around but i was trying to tactically hide my clothes horse or clothes rail clothes rack whatever you call it wherever you're from someone calls it a maiden i've never heard that one before but I'm trying to hide my laundry rack because with it being a day off perfect day to do cleaning i like hoovered and mopped the kitchen floor last night and it smells so fresh and lemony getting through all my chores this is probably going to be such a boring vlog for everybody but i, I love a bit of cleaning I'm, I'm i love a bit of spring cleaning like oh maybe that's where the phrase comes from now it's getting lighter and it's coming into spring everyone's like oh spring cleaning <laughs> anyway I've lost, I've lost my train of thought what i was coming on to say was decided to treat myself at the supermarket and got a cream egg i love this time of year i've really grown a massive appreciation for spring and easter time since becoming an adult i don't know why i think every time i come out of winter i'm like how did i make it through that how did i do it again another year through the dark and the cold but we've done it and we're starting to come through into springtime now it makes me feel really like nostalgic and really homesick actually i'm really missing home i think because i'm from the countryside where i'm originally from now it's like lambing season and like all of the daffodils would be out and all the trees will be blooming again so it's making me like kind of yearn for home a little bit yeah i'm, I'm getting sidetracked again i'm all over the place but yes i was saying i really really love easter now and i think the brighter mornings brighter evenings it's just got me in such good spirits and i'm getting really excited for easter now i'm not a big chocolate eater big chocolate lover i'm like a cakes and patisseries pastries kind of gal i don't really have a lot of chocolate in the house but i love a cream egg and it's we're coming into easter time so all the mini eggs mini eggs cakes cream eggs are all on the shelves did see a white cream egg not about that life i'm a dark chocolate girly but i can do a milk chocolate cream egg that's what i'm here for i just love the gooey center like i know it's oh i know it's just pure sugar but i really rate a cream egg and you know those mini egg cakes with like the the yellowy icing stuff I'm a, bit, I'm a big fan of icing <laughs> so yeah it was really exciting seeing all of like the mother's day stuff in store all of the easter stuff in store as i said it's just it's really boosting my spirits how are you guys feeling have you noticed a big change since coming out of or slowly coming out of winter into spring i guess if you're not from the uk you probably don't have seasons like we do so maybe more of a uk based question but yeah have you started to notice the, the lighter mornings has it affected your mood because it definitely affected mine Oh, what a beautiful day it is. It did say we're in for rain a little bit in the afternoon, so maybe that's what those dark clouds are there. But I'm just going to focus on this bit over here, because that's making me feel really good. I did start to spit on a little bit as I was walking back from doing my grocery shop, but we're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on the good weather and the good vibes. You know what? Looking at this now and holding it in my hand, this has definitely got a bit smaller. I'm so certain these used to be way bigger than this is right now. Like, look at that in my hand. It looks tiny. That's definitely shrinkflation, that is. Let me know in the comments below if you think these have shrunk. I know everyone always says inflation, a good measure of it is uh, those Freddo or Fredo chocolate bars, however you say it. But this, that's daylight robbery. What's happened to the, the normal size of my cream egg? It's half a cream egg. <laughs> so I am currently reading the race pack information for my Cambridge half marathon. I've been through this a couple of times and I'm feeling ready and like I know everything but one thing that did stick out to me when I read it the other week is if I zoom in it says you're not allowed to listen to music or have like earbuds in which has kind of set me off in a little bit of a panic because I always run to music and that usually keeps me one motivated and two keeps my pace in check 
Um, so yeah, that's something I've just discovered. And the race is in a week, literally a week tomorrow. So I have decided to order, hang on, let me switch to my next tab. I have decided to order these bone conduction headphones. So it says you're allowed to wear headphones so long as they're these bone conduction types because they don't actually go on your ears. They kind of rest on the outside. These ones you can actually use for swimming. So they can be used underwater. Let me know in the comments below if you've used earphones or earbuds, sorry, like this before, because I do not know what to expect. I don't know what they're gonna be like. Oh, put that on me. I don't know what they're gonna be like, and I'm worried that I've just spent 40 quid on some ear conduction or bone conduction earphones that aren't gonna be all that great. Which in the grand scheme of things, these are actually a really cheap pair, so they might be pretty rubbish because all of the other pairs I was looking at were around 150 quid. But I just want something quick and easy that I can wear for my half marathon next weekend and maybe for other runs that I do. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried ear bone conduction earphones before? And are they worth it? Because I've just gone and bought a pair. But I wasn't willing to take the risk of running without music or without something to keep me in time for my half marathon. Oh, what a chilly Sunday it is today. It's absolutely freezing. Again, had another early start and drew my curtains and it was like this foggy mist had descended on London, like it was super overcast, could barely see man in front of my face, like it is, it is super chilly today, I don't know what it's going to be like by the time I get outside, obviously that was at more like 7am, it's now around 9 so I'm hoping it's a little bit warmer but I'm not holding my breath, it looks like a proper winter morning today and I'm already all ready you'll be thinking, gosh, Emma, like 9am, you've already got your hair done, your makeup done, your clothes on. I'm actually heading out to brunch today at one of my favourite bakeries in Belgravia called Chestnut Bakery. I've not actually been to the one in Belgravia before. I've only been to the one in Covent Garden, but the pastries are incredible. I've been browsing the menu for the last week because I knew this was coming up and I just have no idea what to get. I'm tempted by the vegan pistachio bun or the raspberry pistachio croissant because I do love pistachio but their signature cinnamon bun just looks incredible like it's got this sort of icing drizzled on top and I love icing I love pastries and things so really excited about that but what if I'm in the mood for something savoury like they also have a I think truffle cheese or truffle mushroom croissant as well an aubergine one so I'm like I just don't know what to get like everything looks good and they do these big like flatbreads as well that kind of look like pizzas with like I think one's basil and mozzarella they've got like fig and goat's cheese so literally I think I could get about 10 things on the menu I don't know how I'm going to narrow it down but really looking forward to that not sure how much I'm going to get to video of that but if I can get, take some pictures and share with you I'll let you know I just need to brush my teeth and then head out to catch my bus but hopefully it's going to be another chill one today to be honest that's the only thing I've got in the diary and when I get back I'll probably just spend my evening reading again so that's kind of like a perfect Sunday to me um usually like a run or a brunch I've got all my chores done and I can just relax and then feel nice and refreshed to start the working week again next week <laughs> I'm back in the house now luckily the rain stayed off and whilst it's still quite crisp quite chilly outside it did start to brighten up a little bit the sun was trying its best and uh, yeah chestnut bakery was just delicious as ever there are still so many things I want to try on the menu so I'm definitely gonna have to go back I actually booked that Monday off after my half marathon because who, who schedules a half marathon on a Sunday but they've gone and done it which means I didn't have a recovery day for the day after and I had one day left of annual leave to use up so I was like why not take the Monday off and then that means I can actually recover, let my legs rest. And maybe I'll just take myself back out and take myself to Chestnut Bakery again and try some of the other things. Some of the things that caught my attention, the truffle mushroom Danish pastry looked incredible. There was a kimchi monkey knot pastry, a halloumi bagel as well, but your girl was not in the mood for savoury. After seeing the sweet selection, torn between the pandan coconut knot pastry, that looked delightful. The pistachio raspberry croissant, 
the vegan pistachio bun, but the one I went for in the end. It's a signature, it's my favourite, it's classic, can't go wrong. It was a cinnamon bun, not only a cinnamon bun, an iced cinnamon bun and you know I love icing so had to go with it. I saw it straight away and it was literally like coated in this like delicious, yeah, like I don't even know what you call it, it's not like buttercream, I don't know what kind of icing it was, but it just looked incredible, the bun looked so soft, I've heard such good things, I think that's what they're known for, so I was like, never had that before, that's what I'm going to go for, but honestly, could go back and try about 10 other things on the menu, got a matcha latte as well, matcha oat latte, mm, delicious, and now I'm in for the rest of the day, just chilling, I had to... Uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind week, bit, bit of a busy one, haven't filmed all the bits of it, but filmed as much as much as I could capture, as much as I hope you guys will find interesting. Oh, that's just reminding me, I've seen my Alexa and it's flashing yellow because my conductive bone, bone conductive headphones are arriving today. So looking forward to testing them. But I think I'm going to end the vlog there because there's not really much else to show. I'm just going to be climbing into bed and reading for the rest of the day. So I hope you've enjoyed this busy week, coming along to Product Con with me and seen some random snippets of what I've been cooking. Let me know in the comments below if you like this. I was gonna say new style of vlog, you might not have actually noticed the difference, but I'm now kind of not trying to film every single moment and get as much B-roll as possible and film every single day. Like sometimes I am just gonna jump from filming on a Monday to filming on a Friday because everything else is just filler and it's just kind of me living my life and there's not actually that much to show. And I found before it was a lot of pressure to try and capture everything, whereas I think this way works a little bit better for me. So I hope you still enjoy, even if I'm jumping around a little bit more than what I normally would. Let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed it. And as ever, thanks for watching everybody. See you later. Bye.